Do you like giant crops? Do you want an entire farm just absolutely covered with giant crops? Well, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how you can leverage rain totems to get an absolute insane amount of giant crops. And as an added bonus, you will be producing more batteries than you will know what to do with them. Before I start rambling, I just want to thank everyone for subscribing. We have just reached 2,000 subscribers and it feels like we've only just hit 1,000 subscribers yesterday. You guys continue to amaze me and all I can say is thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Alrighty, let's get started. Rain Totems. They really are a hidden gem. You will unlock the Rain Totem at level 9 foraging and it will cost you 1 hardwood, 1 truffle oil and 5 pine tar to craft. Initially, it might appear that the Rain Totem is very expensive to craft but actually it's not that bad let's start with the pine tar you will need five pine tar to craft a single rain totem and then you can make it rain a single day the tapper will produce resin and tar every four days so we only need to plant 20 pine trees with tappers on them that way, every 4 days, they will produce 20 pine tar, which is enough to make exactly 4 rain totems. Meaning, with just 20 pine trees, you can craft an infinite amount of rain totems. Pretty easily, actually. And if you reach level 9 foraging early into your playthrough, you can start producing many rain totems if you want to. Next up is truffle oil. Truffle oil is actually pretty easy to get. All you need to do is build a deluxe barn and put some pigs in it. Collect all the truffles they find in your yard and then turn it into truffle oil using the oil maker. It is important to note that pigs cannot find truffles when it is raining, so when you make it rain every day, they won't be able to find any more truffles. So make sure to stockpile on truffle early on. The last item you will need is hardwood. That is pretty easy to get and you only need one of these just collect some hardwood at the secret woods every few days and you will have more than enough now that you have some rain totems it's time to buy some seeds since you won't be relying on sprinklers your entire farm is prime real estate for planting crops so buy as many seeds as you want i bought way too much because half of my farm is covered in trees when using rain totems, you don't need to upgrade your watering can. You can just max out your hoe as you won't be watering any of your crops. The only downside is you can't water crops on day one of a season as there simply won't be enough time to hoe everything and plant all of your crops and still water them. But I still think it's worth it because then you won't be limited by how many sprinklers you have. Now that you have everything you need, just use your rain totems and the next day will be a guaranteed rainy day. Try not to forget to use your rain totem because waking up to it not raining is not ideal. Having to water your entire farm is probably going to take the entire day and if you really did plant crops on your entire farm, you might not even make it in time. Okay, now let's chat about lightning rods. When you use rain totems, there will be no lightning and you won't be able to generate battery packs. However, there is a way around this. Every morning when you wake up, you need to check the weather on the TV. It will tell you the weather for the day. If there will be a storm tomorrow, you should not use your rain totem that day. This is a very important tip. Since the next day will be a storm, you do not want to use your rain totem that day. Instead, skip that day and make absolutely sure to use your rain totem on the day there is a storm. If you use your rain totem on a stormy day, then the next day will be a stormy day instead of a regular rainy day and you can keep doing this to make every day a stormy day. Doing this will result in being able to produce battery packs every single day as the stormy days are chained repeatedly. Crafting lightning rods is pretty easy. You will need 5 bat wings, 1 iron bar and 1 refined quartz. You don't need nearly as many lightning rods as I have here. You just need a few, especially if every single day will produce battery packs. It is important to note that rain totems cannot make it rain the next day if it is an event or a festival. So sometimes it won't rain and unfortunately your crops won't be watered that day. I have come to accept that and I don't really mind it all that much. And that brings us to the end of this video. So what do you think of the rain totem? Will you potentially use it more often? Or do you prefer a more traditional approach to farming crops using sprinklers? So let me know in the comments. 
I still want to play around with this more. Maybe I can mass farm on the beach farm using this method. It is just very important to collect your pine tar every 4 days so you can continue crafting more rain totems and keep the rain chain going. Thank you so much for watching this video and as always, I will see you in the next video.